Ole Miss soccer fans, another weekly chat with head coach Matt Mott. Coming off of a tough one, coach. Uh, but what are some positives you can pull from that match? What are some areas you want to see improvement on through this point of the season? Yeah, you know, there's just uh, there's just a lid. I told this to the team. There's a lid on the goal for us right now. We can't seem to knock it off. Um, as we're getting chances, we're creating chances. Um, you know, we're we're moving the ball well. We're defending well. There's a lot of things we're doing really well, but for for whatever reason, uh, we're we're struggling to score. So we've spent a lot of time on that this week. Um, luckily, we've got a little extra time this week, and uh, and we've got to we got to do a better job scoring the, scoring and, and creating chances. But to be honest with you, I'm happy with the amount of chances we're creating. We're just not finishing. So uh, I know they're frustrated. Teams frustrated. Coaching staffs frustrated. But we got to keep going, and we got to keep working. And 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 you know, with hard work, you know, hopefully good things will come, and and we'll be able to find the back of the net here in in the next game or so. Is is that? Similar to when you hear basketball coaches say the same thing, little on the net, where it's like you see the ball go in and, and it's going to start uh, being contagious to other players. They have the confidence to be able to put it away then? I absolutely think so. I think we can get a, a few in the run of play. Um, they'll start to feel more confident. And, and, again, I think you look at our front guys, Channing and Stack and and Lonnie and those guys, like they're pressing, right? Mo, they're, they're just pressing and – because they want to score so bad. I mean, they care so much and they're, they're working so hard and they're doing everything right. We're just missing that last final piece. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll start, they'll start to go in. Well, unfortunately you have to stew on it just for a few extra days this week with Auburn having to back up the match due to COVID protocols. How are you guys approaching this extra time before you will play them on Tuesday? Yeah, that's good. All right, get extra training. They got an extra day off yesterday. Um, you know, we're, we're trying, just trying to stay sharp and fresh. And training's been very good, very spirited, as you would think, uh, coming off the, uh, the uh, result on last Friday night. So um, I think that we're happy with the team. They're, they're really working hard. We're doing a great job with the, the testing and COVID and, and staying healthy. And um, so, I'm, I'm, again, I'm happy with um, the way we're playing and the way we're training. We just got to start getting some of the results going our way. As always, I'll ask you about the two players we're interviewing here this week, one senior, one freshman, the senior being Sophie Deneen. I feel like it's a broken record at this point when talking about the senior class, but great kid, a versatile player who's made an impact since the moment she walked on campus. Yeah, yeah that's exactly right. Like so Sophie, uh, you know, can kind of do it all. Like she's played left back, she's played center back, she's played holding midfielder, she's played left midfielder. Um, she's got a great left foot. I mean, like we say that about a lot of the seniors too, actually, it's kind of funny, but she has a very good left foot. Um, you know, she's tough, um, tough defender and, and, but she's a, she's a winner. Like she's does everything right. Works really hard. To, you know, does everything we ask her to do and is a great teammate. Uh, I think that's one of the, the biggest pluses about Sophie and you know, level headed and understands, you know, I had a meeting with the juniors and seniors uh, over the weekend. And, and Sophie was really good in that meeting of, of kind of what we need to do and how we need to stay together and approach it and all those kind of things. So I uh, know she's definitely a good one and a very important senior for us. And then the freshman is a name we heard all fall camp long. It was Lucy Green, Lucy Green. What makes her so special uh, and how will you evaluate her play through the first three matches of her career? Yeah, um, she's a, a really good athlete. She's tough as nails. She, you know, I think I've said it about her before since – not afraid to kick anything or anybody. Um, you know, she goes hard in the tackle. She's really good in the air. Um, is just coming on more and more and more, understanding her role, getting a lot of minutes, and uh, and and doing a good job for us in the back line. I think it's something that we're going to be able to rely on for a number of years to come. But it's certainly starting out having a really good freshman year, and you know, she doesn't look like a freshman back there in the back. So um, she's doing great. You know, she's really smart. Obviously, she's salutatorian of her class. Um, she's doing it all right right now. So we want, we hope she continues to develop and grow as one of our, our one of our defenders. We mentioned that the game's pushed back here next week, but it's an opponent you're, and a coaching staff that you're very familiar with with Karen on the other sideline. Uh, yeah. What makes Auburn and Karen Hoppe coach teams such a challenge? Well, first of all, playing at their place is always difficult. You know, they, they do a great job. Um, you know, obviously I have, I can't have enough respect for Karen, right? She's, you know, really gave me my start in the, in the profession and I worked with her for 11 years and I think she's a top level coach and one of the best in the country and it has been for a long time and her teams are always super prepared they're always super um, they're hardworking and, and tough and um, it'll be hard it'll be it'll be a one goal game down there like it always is and uh, a very very difficult game for us for sure and 
you know, they, they have their challenges, certainly with, with what's going on with COVID, but they'll be prepared. They'll be ready. There's no doubt in my mind. And, and we're going to be ready for another really difficult SEC game, as they all are at this point, right? There, there's no easy ones out there. Yeah, I was going to say, hopefully it's a little easier than it's been the past couple of years, but we know that's not going to be the case. <laughs> Over time no. last year, one goal two years ago with the CC's performance. So, uh, yeah. you, like you said, though, you do get a couple extra days. So, rest up, uh, go get them on Tuesday, and then we'll see you back home here in a few weeks now. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks, Seth. Appreciate it.